So just the really? Kind of putting over the edge what are you going to do? Are attack. you going to arrest everybody? Issued a warning here for disorderly conduct. If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. Good morning from the front of Chris Sununu's house. This is the park across the street, which looks like a park when you look on the maps. And these are new. I have previously gone on this property to use... Uh, to urinate over in those trees all the way in the back. Now you can see that even though the signs say it's private property, there are a ton of cruisers. We're pretty early here for this event. There's apparently far more people who are going to be showing up. There's also multiple cruisers in his driveway as well. So I'd like to know about this property here. There's an officer coming this direction, so I'll just ask him about it and see what he says. Question for you. Sure. First, what's your name? Joe, what's your name? Joe. I'm Ian. Nice to meet you. So tell me, um, these private property signs here, Joe? Yep. Whose private property is this? Newfields. The town? Yes. How does the town have private property? How does it not? Well, I've never heard of a government belongs the, having... That belongs to the water, the water department. So. The water department. It does, yep. So you're saying that the water department has private property, but everybody else is forced to pay for that property? That's exactly what I'm saying. Doesn't that sound like kind of crazy? No. Nope. fear for your life when somebody decides they can just do medical experiments on you randomly. You guys have a lot more agents here today. What's the reason for that? Oh, they, they figure people might not like having medical experiments done on their children. You know, I can see how they wouldn't. Yeah, normally there's like three cops in undercover cars, and we can see that we still have the undercover mm -hmm. cars, so they're still I think here. we have the biggest pussy governor in America. <laughs> <laughs> so also new this oh, yeah. week his, his is this tower, this sort of construction light tower which I imagine they're worried that somebody's going to be hiding in the park at nighttime or something like that, and so they need to illuminate the park for the safety of the, the governor. Good morning, New Hampshire! We're gathered here today at the governor's house, not to praise him, but to bury his political career. It seems the governor has decided that the people of New Hampshire are fit only to be unwilling experimental subjects. I think the people of New Hampshire are going to differ with that opinion. I think the people of New Hampshire want to make their own decisions about how they live their own lives. And I, for one, like my drugs tried and true, not invented last week. And it says they derive their just powers from the consent of the governed. And we're here to put you on notice, we do not consent. And whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends for which it was created, that it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it. And that means by force. In case you were unclear, look up what happened during the revolution if you want to find out exactly what they meant. Hey, dude, come on. No, we don't support that. Come on. I certainly support the revolution. You can disagree with me, and I'll let you use my microphone to do it. Sir, I'm just asking you to stop, okay? Stop you're just what? Being, you're just being warned right now for disorderly conduct, okay? What? So we're just telling you to stop right now. We're getting complaints from neighbors about the noise, so we're just telling you to stop. Well, okay? this is the I'm just you know, current warned, okay? state house, okay. as, you under, uh, as I understand it. Is this, does he have some other place hey, where on. we can you've speak been to him? Been warned, correct? Are you saying sp you. speech is now disorderly conduct, sir? Is that what you're saying? What, Constitution not hold up? What part of the statute is that fall under, please? Disorderly conduct's a very long statute. $1,094 for, for these guys there you go. to be here. 
Okay. Well, well I, I can't, can't see it. See I, you, you didn't hold it up long enough. Can you just go ahead and hand that to me? I'll, I'd like to take a look at it, please. You can get it. What section is it in disorderly conduct? 644-2. 644-2? Yep. What section part three. of it? Section 3. 644-2. It's going to say free speech is now a violation. Wow. $1,094 is their set minimum is what they're paying. Our taxes are paying their salaries over $1,094 for them to be protecting Governor Sununu from us because we're scary. $1,000 to protect this coward. <laughs> now you, you won't, you won't. Just keep it, keep the volume kind of low. You know, we'll piss off the neighbors. Okay. Governor Sununu, we came here to talk to you today. It's hard to get in touch with you. I tried on email and that didn't work out. But if you're home, we'd like to talk to you about how you changed the law and now there's no opt-out provision for vaccines and an experimental vaccine at that. We're very concerned. And this is only a handful of the people that wanted to come. Obviously, people have lives and have to work in order to pay taxes for your salary and these fine gentlemen, who actually I really have no problem with. I understand what you guys are doing. You have a job and you have orders and all that, but there's a line, and we have to ask ourselves, at what point do we say no? And that's really important because there's consequences for everything we do and what we don't do. And I think not saying anything right now is going to have serious, serious consequences down the road. People have the right to decide if they wear a mask or they don't wear a mask. To tell us that we can't allow people into our business without wearing a mask, when they fully know that we're not wearing a mask, is a violation of everybody's rights. I think everybody agrees that this is what started the whole thing. We really need to focus on this being the first problem. We let them get away with this. The vaccines are next. They can't do this to us. This is against our rights and people need to wake up. To tell people, to tell my friend here that he's committing disorderly conduct for speaking. I don't know if that one's going to hold up in court. I don't think so. I don't know if it is. Now you guys, it doesn't cost you anything. Okay? When you come over and arrest somebody and ruin their life, when you take away people's lives from them, months, if not years of their lives. My friend here went to jail for a year. What for? Selling cannabis. Something you all know is a relatively harmless product. You know it's true. Any cop who's honest will tell you they've never had a problem arresting somebody for a cannabis possession charge. Not like a angry drunk outside of a bar, for instance. So, you know, in the rare moments that we do get honesty, uh, from you guys. It's refreshing. I'd like to see that more often. Unfortunately, in this one-size-fits-all system that we're all forced to fund you, even when you do atrocious things and harm people's lives, we're still forced to pay your salary. And I'm not okay with it. Especially now. Now you're less accountable than you've ever been. We were just talking on the way up here. I can't even go to a courthouse now. They've closed off public, so-called public trials. I can't identify who you are. You've got masks on. So there's some real serious issues here. All right, three, two, one. Live free or die. We will not comply. 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 Tell me again. It's not 1984. <laughs> Keeping an eye on us. Skynet. We want to make it really clear that we oppose these curfews, just like Rosanne here is talking about. We oppose curfews. We oppose illegal mandates. Oh, we oppose they're coming back. I, I'm probably just the context, so. Here they come. Are you going to complain? Someone complained about this? Yeah, just a group chanting, guys. Just kind of putting it over the edge. Group chanting? You're going to say yeah, somebody received... called to complain about yeah, chanting? Yeah, really? That. So just the really? standings kind of putting over the edge. What are you so going to do? Are you going to arrest everybody? Issued a warning here for disorderly conduct. 
So as long as we don't chance, okay, right? We're telling you to stop. Fucking stop. ridiculous. Okay. You guys are fucking ridiculous. Yep. Every last one of you. As long as we don't get complaints from the neighbors, you guys are all Can I ask you a question though? Serious sure. question? Yep. Is there a decibel limit that you're setting? No. Nope. Totally was, arbitrary. You know, so hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. One, 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 one second. Yeah. One second. No, no. So I'm just telling you guys to He's stop. Got another Everybody question. in this group's been warned of disorderly conduct, okay? Thank you. No, that's not okay. No, it's actually not okay. But there's no metric. It's totally arbitrary. The, me the metric is somebody called and complained. Yes, that's but I, I mean, wait, that's not in a court of law. It doesn't mean anything. Chanting too. You can't yeah. warn everyone. You know, you have people just standing here saying nothing. How do you? Yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta they're going to arrest you. You weren't chanting. Yeah. You made that's it very clear. You weren't chanting. I hate to say it, man. We might have to uh, see how this goes. So if someone just complains about me talking right now. Out of control. Yeah, they should lose in court, but they're banking that we'll, we won't want to challenge them. Because they we won't think we're all sheeple out. and we don't know what the fuck's going on. You can beat the rat, but not the riot. Mm -hmm. mantra. Yeah. It costs them nothing to arrest you and put you in jail, but it costs us tr precious time and our lives. Well, and, and money. Mm -hmm, and it money. It costs us time oh, yeah. and money. And time is money. Can't afford to go to jail to be in jail. I mean, right. but they don't understand if if he got well, rid of these but. unconstitutional mandates, the bitch wouldn't be hiding in his house, and we wouldn't have to be doing his. If they cared about our constitution, he wouldn't be pulling the shit he's doing now. I don't think he's there. I think all oh, he's there. All these people would be protecting his bitch. There's a lot of cops here. If he's not if he's not there, why are there this many cops here? We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.